Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this video I want to talk about Hearthstone cards, useful Hearthstone cards that you can get for free. So let's take a look at some of the sources, mainly focusing on standard format of various cards that you can acquire. First of all, there are all those cards from rewards tracks and from login bonuses that nowadays are tied to specific expansions. So for example, Forged in the Barrens. We got Shadowhunter Vulgin and Mancrick for free in Forged in the Barrens. All of these are uncraftable by the way, so you can't disenchant them. And nowadays, if you own a Forged in the Barrens pack, as soon as you go into the screen to open some packs, then you are going to be awarded both of these legendary cards, but uncraftable, so you can't get the dust, but you can get them if you want to play with them. And like Shadowhunter Vulgin currently is playing the best form of Evolve Shaman, and Mancrick doesn't really see play right now, but isn't a terrible card either. And the same applies to most other expansions. So if you look at United Installment, if you own one United Installment pack, go to the pack opening screen, you're immediately awarded Flightmaster Dungar and Lady Prestor of whom Lady Prestor is used in some meme-ish druid decks. Out of the expansions of 2022, so the ones that are also going to stay in standard format after April this year, Voyage to the Sunken City, just own a Voyage to the Sunken City pack, go to the pack opening screen and you will get Blademaster Okani. And Blademaster Okani is a very flexible card that is used in multiple decks. And Murder at Castle Natria, own a Murder at Castle Natria pack, Go into the pack opening screen and you're awarded Prince Renatal and Sire Denatrius. But there are even more sources of free cards, and one of those sources is from Achievements. Because under Gameplay Achievements, there are various ways to unlock cards from past expansions. Now, many of those achievements require you to actually play with that card in questions, and then once you play with it enough, then you're going to get a golden copy. There are ways around that you can try to copy those cards from your opponents, but unless they happen to be played in current meta decks, it's obviously going to be impossible, they don't exist in the opponent's decks, and even if they are played, that can be really cumbersome. Although there is one card that you may want to unlock through that method. Let's take a look at cards that you can get from achievements, the most meaningful ones and easiest ones anyway. From United in Stormwind achievements, you can actually get a card that sees play in meta decks, because by adding 100 coins to any player's hand, you will get two copies of Golden Mailbox Dancer. I know that there is currently one rogue card in standard format in the core set that can add coins, and then there's the shark as well. So there's a couple of cards other than the mailbox dancer that can add coins to hands. Fractured in Alterac Valley even has a legendary card that you can earn by accident. All you need to do is win a game at 15 health, and you will get a copy of Localar, the Ice Lord. There are also some useful cards up for grabs from West Sunken City, and this one is actually a card that you will have to be like a priest with identity theft or something, steal copies from the opponent so that you can play them. But Golden School Teachers are available if you just teach your Nagaling 16 different spells, so you have to actually play those school teachers. So this will actually take you a while if you want to do it with the achievement, because you have to do this in ranked, you can't just do this in friendly games, but there have even been ready threats about people who have went through the grind and gotten themselves some nice school teachers. And what's more, from Ways to the Sunken City, you can also get Ambassador failing from an achievement. You need to destroy 150 enemies with your Colossal Minions or their limbs. Obviously, Colossal Minions are legendary minions, but there's quite a few of them, so if you have one, then you might be able to complete this one. And grab that Ambassador failing. And from Murder at Castle Natria, you can get a epic tech card. All you only need to do is activate a location 200 times, any location will do. And two copies of Golden Demolition Renovator can be yours. In addition to owning packs from specific expansions and completing specific achievements, you can also get free cards from various solo adventures. So you need to go to modes, and then to solo adventures. In the solo adventures there are some standard cards available, because obviously there's much of the Lich King prologue, which gives you access to that knight. But there are also various adventures in Book of Mercenaries and in Book of Heroes, and completing these is going to give you a card back each. And if you want to venture to the wild side, there are also some free card packs available from the wild side. 
In order to access the Wild Solo Adventures, you need to have completed the Apprenticeship, so you need to have reached at least Bronze 10. And for some of these, you may need to open access from the Battle.net shop, but it is available from there for free. First of all, there's the Ice Crown Citadel, the Frozen Throne intro, which is going to give you three packs of Knights of the Frozen Throne and one free legendary card, which you can also disenchant. In addition to Knights of the Frozen Throne, you can also get some card packs from the Dalaran Heist and from the Tombs of Terror. The first chapter of each of these is available for free, and completing a chapter gives you three packs of those expansions. Those are the main sources of free cards and free card packs that are not immediately obvious, so I hope they help you build your Hearthstone collection. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.